I thought before I mounted the four jaw chuck, I'd show you what I have here. This is a Jacobs, I believe they refer to them as flexible collets. And it holds a round object, whatever you might want. It's extremely secure, I mean. And the collets look like this. There's metal trapezoids here and rubber in between. They're solid one piece. This is uh, has a range of three quarters to seven eighths. In other words, we're not worried about having a collet, say, three quarters, like a Jacobs, like a uh, 5C collet, an R8 collet. This thing has a range, and the set comes with a range of collets. This small one has a range of 1 16th to 1 8th inch. This fellow has a range of 1 and a quarter to 1 and 3 eighths. So with a set of these, and I got a set, I can hold any metric or inch diameter between, between these two ranges. And I think there are 12 collets in the set. This is a 5C collet. It tightens by having it threads at the rear. Now there's external and internal threads. It's pulled in to a collet tightening from the rear. This is an R8 collet, the same deal. It's threaded on the inside and it draws into a tapered chuck. Both of these tighten from behind. The rubber flexed collets taper or are drawn in by pressure on the face of the collet. This is a locking ring. This is a hammer. If I keep turning it, this piece is coming towards the camera. And the collet fits in this cone and is tightened by this. So when we tighten the collet, the rubber compresses inward and it tightens on a round object. Now the spindle of this nose is equipped with an adapter. The weighted D-series of 
spindle attachments work is there's three, in this case, 5 8 pins that fit in to holes, three of them. It doesn't tighten to the face of this. It tightens to this male cone. So here's the four jaw chuck. Clean everything off. All I do then is stick these three pins in these three holes and then there's cams on the side internally of course that pull the chuck tight into the face of the spindle.